Hey, gentlemen. Go, hey, coach. Uh, yeah, we showed them ladies today. They on Sundays off. Scared them away. <laughs> hmm? You might see. You uh, scare them away. Huh? Yeah. But uh, good solid work day. Good day of, you know, having not the same routine, having to come in here with something a little different, you know, make a little changes. I to see how I thought for a minute it took them a little bit to get to the attitude of practice just a little bit, being in here and, that, and then once they got into it, it was okay. Had good points and bad points on both sides of the ball. You guys watch the practice. I mean, you see one side wins, one side loses. I mean, it goes back and forth, and that's what happens when they get to know each other and they get to compete. But good things on both sides. There's mistakes on both sides. We're nowhere close to where we want to be, but I like the direction we're going. A lot of those young linemen getting a lot of those rotations in. What I saw a couple young wideouts that I really like, well, Nooney jumped out at me today. I mean, you know, you saw a guy there that I start seeing can make some plays. Izzo keeps playing well. Those young tight ends are doing all right. And the young back was Sewell. Well, he jumps out. He, I think he, but he and Vickers, Vickers has been doing a nice job with us too. But uh, of course, Dalvin does his. But on that defensively, you know, Six flashed at me there a couple times. Uh, the end's coming off the edge. And I wish Burns was out there. I wish you could have saw Burnsy. I've been super high on him. I think he's got a chance. He'll be back in a couple days. We'll get to, that's part of camp. These guys get banged up and got to learn to you know, heal up and get back. But we're doing okay. Just got to keep progressing. Has Murray been that good? Has he had those kind of days throughout? He's been starting to do that, yes. Murray's, Murray's got to use it. Murray's a jib if you'll play. And get it down and be consistent. But the whole king is, like you know, little thing on Kerman, all those little, like on that little goal line route. Remember I was getting, I mean, he takes one half a step. I mean, that's and that's the difference. When you're in those tight zones and, you know, learning, and that's what we've just picked up, third down and red zone. Those are your money downs. And, boy, everything gets tight and quick and getting to do that. Like Kerman, he's been doing a really nice job. I thought he, and he picked it up a little bit. But, but Nooney is, uh, you got a chance to be a good player if you continue to play with you know, consistency. Ideally, what kind of role do you see him having, or could he have? I hope a huge one. Could have a bigger. If he's going, if he's going as good as he keeps going, he'll get about as big a role as he wants. As a coach, is that what you're looking for? There's a couple wide receivers ahead of him missing, and, and then he goes and you, steps you up. You stepped up, but you know he'd been doing it on the other field, and that's what I'm saying. Don't be Wally Pip. <laughs> Don't take a break. Get replaced and never get your job back. I mean, that's part of how it goes when you get on good teams and guys take advantage of opportunities. Other guys hurt. Don't get back in there. But hey, he's been doing on the other end. You know, even when they were been out there, he's been starting to play pretty good. You remember Quez playing a little bit of safety? Is that is that with Derwin yeah. being out? Or? Well, with Derwin being out, you lost Nate. You know, Nate had a little pull with his uh, uh, calf today. So we you know rested him the rest of practice. So you know you, but that's intermac because see, see Marquez has got great ball skills. And you got those other two young corners. You get those big guys back. You take that experienced guy back with ball skills in the back, you know, and can cover some slot guys. And we, we mix and match those guys all over. Because you know we may say we want to double a guy, and you know who's got enough experience to always make that call to be able to double a guy and be over top of a guy. So we take those guys like that and train. Them. What are some of the things you I think the offensive line needs to improve on as far as run blocking and passing? Everything. I mean, you know, just getting your calls and big thing is creating leverage and technique and getting caught. Had some good runs, had some tough runs. I mean, we broke some out, but we were pretty good on defense too. Now those guys on scholarship too. I thought they did a nice job up front, but then at times we you know we blocked them. But we just got to consistently keep. You know, and like I say, sometimes everybody says, just a two yard gain. Sometimes that's a good play. Now you're second and eights. When you hit six, the next play is third and two. You know, and eliminate negative plays, eliminate busts where you turn somebody loose or you have a missed block, things like that. You mentioned uh, Brian Burns. What was he out with? Hey, he got a thought quad contusion. Okay. Got a helmet in the knee. I thought it screwed his knee up the way they fell into it, but it was just his leg was loose. He was having a great day, and uh, he'll be out a couple of days. He'll be back. You said he's been flashing. Oh, yeah. No, real good. A chance to be a really, really good player. Really good player. Travis Rudolph out for a few days? Or? Yeah, he got, a, he got a hamstring that's bothering him, which he had you know, later. And so we'll probably make sure, just like we'll make sure we give him three or four days to get it healed up the right way. But he had been playing. No, he had been playing super. I wish y'all could have saw him the other day. He is. Last four or five days running routes and doing things. And that's your leader. And that's why I was anxious to see how they acted, reacted today. Because he had tweaked it yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And coming back today, well, all right, my, our leader ain't here. How are we going to react? So we had some good things. None of them guys stepped up. Logan on punts, seems like you can really get a hold of him. He can. He's explosive. Jack, you know, Jack does a good job too, but Logan, when he hits it now, whether it's field goals and kickoffs too. I mean, you know, he missed a 47 yard field goal, but still hit about 12 rows up in the daggone sand. But Ricky hit his today. And it was good. So we got two really good kickers and good, two good punters. We feel comfortable there. That operation, like losing Case in there, is that, that, that operation still have a way to go? The whole well, you know, they've, they've been working it all summer. Jack was here all summer, and they've been, they were going hour after hour after hour. So I've been pretty pleased with it. They've done a pretty good job. I mean, but there's always a pro, you know, you got to continue to get better and better, but they've been doing a pretty good job. But DeAndre it just seems like he knows exactly where to throw the ball. Or he does at times, but still things have gotten cloud. We put a lot of new stuff on him today. And you get to that red zone, man, it's bang. And their coverage is how you play a red zone coverage changes. So he's got to see that. A couple times it stunned him. But the thing I, I liked about it, when he was confused, you know what he did? He got rid of the ball. Or even held it. Sometimes you down there, take a second. Not, not turning the ball over. I always say this, dog don't bite when he's a pup, dog don't bite when he's a dog. And what I'm saying is, when you've got bad habits when things go wrong, 
when even when you don't know what to do, those gentlemen kind of never go away. He protects the, he makes the big plays, but he protects the ball at the same time. So, but he's doing a nice job. He's progressing nicely. And what we're doing, we're playing games to push him to see how far and much he can handle, where we can put it on him and get back. And also, when, you know, the, when, when the flat's being covered, you know, he has free reign to kind of just run up the middle. He does. He, he has, that's what I want him to do, continue those instincts with, because I'm going to tell you, it ain't, you ain't got to have a runner quarterback, but you got a guy that can make plays. You know what I'm saying? And keep plays alive and throw on the run and scramble and make those first downs. So he can do that. Did you say he's ahead of schedule as far as his footwork? I don't know about that. He, he, don't, he does a good job footwork-wise. And but he's on pace about where I thought he'd be. I, I'm, I'm, you know, we got a lot of work to do, but I'm very pleased where he's at. We're gonna get there. AJ Westbrook moved up when Nate went out. How's he yeah, going? I tell you what, he's been, he's been flashing too. Though. Guy's smart. Guy's processes the game very well. Strong as heck. Get him a 400. He's got a 400 pound bench guy. So he's very strong and athletic, and has a chance to be a really good player. All right. We're good. Thank you, Coach.